Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've ever wanted to access your BIOS but weren't sure about the key or how to do it on Windows 10 or 11 PC or laptop, don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you how to access the BIOS screen. Whether you need to troubleshoot something or selecting your boot storage device, enable or disable features like secure boot or virtualization or just tweak your settings, you can do it easily once you know how to get in. In this video, I'm going to show you three simple ways to access your BIOS. These methods work even if you want to bypass the login screen or if you're on a desktop. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get into BIOS on any Windows system. Alright guys, I am using Windows 11 operating system. The first method works right from the login screen. Let's say you're stuck on the login screen and want to get into the BIOS. Here's what you do. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, then click the power icon at the bottom right corner. From there, select restart and click on restart. Anyway, keep holding the shift key until you see the please wait screen. Once that appears, you can release the key. Your system will now reboot and take you to the advanced options menu. Once you land on this blue screen, click troubleshoot, then go to advanced options and you'll see an option called UEFI firmware settings. Select that, click restart, and your system will boot straight into the BIOS. The BIOS screen looks a bit different here, but on your computer, whether it's Dell, HP, Lenovo, or any other brand, you'll see the BIOS specific to your motherboard. Now let's move on to the second method. This one works directly from your desktop. So if you're already logged into Windows and want to access the BIOS, just go to the search bar and type reset this PC. From the results, click on it and head over to the recovery settings. In advanced startup, you'll see the option restart now. Click on it and your system will restart, bringing you back to the same advanced option screen. From there, go to troubleshoot, then advanced options and select UEFI firmware settings. Finally, click on restart and your computer will boot straight into the BIOS. All right, guys, for our last method, we're going to create a shortcut so you don't have to go through all the steps manually every time. With this shortcut, all you'll need to do is double click the icon and your PC will restart straight into the BIOS. To set it up, right click on your desktop, hover over new and select shortcut. In the location field, type shutdown space forward slash R space forward slash FW space forward slash T space one and then click Next. Now give your shortcut a name, for example, BIOS, and click Finish. After this, right-click on the shortcut, Open Properties. Click on Advanced and check the option Run as Administrator. Press OK to confirm and then apply the changes. And that's it. You now have a BIOS shortcut right on your desktop. Whenever you want to enter BIOS, just double click it, confirm yes, and your PC will restart directly into BIOS. So guys, these were the three easiest methods to access BIOS on your system. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more tech tips, and I'll see you in the next one.